Summer is finally here, and with all the sunshine around us, learning a new sport is a great way to spend your vacation. Because learning a new sport is a great way to keep fit, and being fit means you have more energy to enjoy other activities. So get off your couch and get healthy, because game day weekend starts now. And since we have a very special episode today, we also have a very special guest for today to share the adventure with us. Right, she is a two-time UAV Women's Volleyball Champ and was named Season 77 Finals MVP. Feared for her lefty and unbreakable net defense, let's welcome my fellow Lady Eagle, Miss Amy Alvarez! Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Sir. Sure. Oh, yes, I know. You're yeah. fine, huh? <laughs> we're, st we're still a little hungry, but... Uh, okay, we can eat later. Good enough. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get down to business, Amy. You know, after all the uh, disappointments, your personal challenges, injuries, you're now a two-time champion, back-to-back, -back, and the finals MVP. How does that feel? Oh, um, I don't know if I can put it into words. It's really, really overwhelming. Mm -hmm. But I mean, uh, I think me and my teammates are really blessed and we were really um, happy to have the opportunity. So, right. going for more? Going yes. For more. So, Amy, I know you're very successful on the volleyball court, but we want to know what other activities are you interested in? Any other sports you enjoy doing? Um, I really enjoy everything outdoors. So, mm -hmm. oh. anything like um, wakeboarding, snowboarding. So, this right here, like, it's a, it's a challenge, but I think it's going to be really fun. Is this All your right. first time to um, try polo? No, I've tried it before with my family friends, mm -hmm. but that was just for playing around. So, let's see. Well, of course, it's your farm. You have to try it. It's your farm. Yeah. You guys, you guys want to try it too? Oh, we, we, you like we to will. Join me? You have to. <laughs> okay. We'll have to join you later. Well, Kiwi, since you are an avid sports fan, you are in luck because today, we will be trying out the sport of polo, a sport more popularly known as the Game of Kings. Also known as the Sport of Kings, polo is one of the few sports that is played on horseback. Are fresh onto the field. Played by the nobility as early as the 6th century BC. Modern polo is played by teams of four who try to score as many goals as possible by driving a small ball into an opposing team's goal by using a mallet. Usually played on a large grass field measuring at least 300 yards by 160 yards, polo is also one of the fastest contact sports on the planet, with horses usually traveling at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour as they aim to take control of the ball and score a goal. A regular polo match usually lasts two hours and is divided into periods called chukas, which can range from four to six timed periods. Polo also has breaks in between chukas that lasts three to five minutes long and players usually change horses after each period. Like all equestrian sports, polo is also a mixed sport where men and women compete with each other. It is also a sometimes dangerous contact sport, as players can ride off or bump opponents by using their horses. <laughs> the South American country of Argentina is considered as the polo capital of the world ever since the sport was introduced in the country in the late 19th century. As of today, there are only 10 players in the world that have scored at least 10 goals in their professional polo careers, and all of them are from Argentina. My first thoughts when we do polo today, I said, oh my gosh, um, we have to ride a horse. <laughs> the last time I rode the horse, or the first time and last time I rode the horse, I was maybe four years old or five years old, and it was in Baguio, in Wright Park. And I don't think that really counts <laughs> compared to today. But I am really excited because it's something that's super foreign to me. And yeah, but I think it's gonna be a big challenge because there's a lot of things to learn. You have to learn how to ride the horse properly. I was really overwhelmed 
overwhelmed because when, when you talk about polo, it's all about riding horses and it's all about um, finding your form on top of a horse. So, parang nakakatakot. Hindi naman ako bago dito. Nag nakapagsakay ako ng kabayo. Pero hindi ko pa nagagawa siya ng mabilis. I have no idea. Dan Dan nothing close to polo before whether it's about the sport or the horse or being on the field. Last time I na nakasakay ako kabayo, I'm still a kid. So I don't even remember that anymore. Gusto ko lang makasakay ng kabayo. Masaya na ako. Hindi na ako malaglag. Masaya na. I'm excited too because Gretchen's my old teammate. So excited again to play with her again, be on the team with her, be on the field with her. But um, I hope I don't fall off. I hope um, the horse doesn't run away. Yan lang. Excited. Lang. And to help us learn and understand the sport of polo, we have with us today our coach, Coach Benjamin Eusebio. Oh! Thank you. Thank you guys for coming here. Thanks for having us, Coach. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you, Mia, Boom, Gretchen, and Amy. Um, there are coach, just a few questions about polo, oh. the, the, about the game oh, or the sport of polo. Lang, lang. So what is it exactly? Ano yung traditional polo? And then what's the difference mm -hmm. between arena polo and then field polo? Yung polo kasi, um, sport siya na nilalaro obviously sa horseback. Mm -hmm. So ang objective lang ng game, very simple. Dapat yung ball mapapasok nyo sa goals, sa goal mm -hmm. ng kalaban. Mm -hmm. So meaning, every time na goal kayo, change goals, gagamit, gagamit kayo ng mallet. Mm -hmm. Ito yung mallet. Nagamit ng long whip mallets mm -hmm. using hard impact classic balls. Okay. Okay, syempre hard while riding on horses. Yun yung objective. So, yung difference naman ng field polo at arena polo. So, field polo is the outer game. Yes. Usually played in a 300 by 160 wide field. Mm -hmm. So, medyo malaki siya. Yes. So, may time dito, syempre takbo, magtakbo yung mga kabayo. Then, usually yung ginagamit dito sa game na to, yung sa, sa field polo, yung mga hard impact balls. Mm -hmm. So, magamit din kami dito ng mga, usually mga kabayo tinatawag na thoroughbreds or yung mga kabayo na ginagamit pang karera. So, para malakas yung stamina nila. Kasi medyo mahaba-haba yung tinatakbo ng mga kabayo, kailangan malakas sa kanilang stamina. So, yung isa naman is arena polo. So, ano pagkakaiba ng arena polo sa field polo? Arena polo, syempre, um, enclosure siya isang area. So, indoor game siya. So, gumagamit sila dito usually ng mga quarter horses. Yung mga quarter horses naman, ito yung mga... Tama, pang yung mga sprint. pang sprint, yung mga pang agile, mga agile horses na kaya huminto, stop and go, magmaneuver, dapat magaling sila sa ganon. Kasi gumagamit yung mga players dito ng 4.5 inches in diameter uh, and leather inflated ball. So compared dito, syempre medyo matigas yung pinapapalo namin sa field polo, sa arena polo medyo malambot. Alright, so how many players um, are required on the field? Talag, kailangan sa field polo, four. Mm. So, yung four players na to, parang basketball lang to. No? May mga positions to. So, ang first player, ito yung most offense-oriented player. So, kumbaga siya yung shooter. Siya yung papasahan ng mga number players one. sa likod. Number, number one. one. Siya yung papasahan ng players sa likod. Tapos siya yung pick up, siya yung mag-shoot. Mm. Okay, so number one. Number two, meron tayo, ito yung backup ni number one. Mm -hmm. So number two, dapat mag medyo magaling din to kasi syempre medyo crucial siya yung taga-pasa and siya yung taga-bantay ng pinakamagaling na player's Ooh. team. Ah, okay. Sino yung taga pinakamagaling na player usually? Minibigay ito sa number three. Mm. Yung number three, ito yung team captain. Ah. Kumbaga siya yung sumisigaw, nagsasalita, uno, dito ka, cuatro, yeah, likod, dos. Ah. ah, hindi naman. Ngayon lang to. <laughs> <laughs> so, yun, yung tres. Yung pangat pangapat naman, ito yung syempre pinaka... Para sa akin, medyo difficult yung position na ito kasi four yung nagko-control ng score ng kalaban kasi siya yung taga-defend. Ah, okay. Defense-oriented siya. So, dapat siya yung taga-steal ng ball and taga-passer ng ball. So, three and four focuses, focus on defending. So, sila yung nagpapasa ng bola sa likod at saka taga-agaw. Tapos yung one and two, sila yung offense. Sila yung bahala sa shooting. So, ibig sabihin yung three and four, hindi pwedeng mag-shoot? Pwede sila mag-shoot. Pero Depende ayun lang yung, yung pinakatrabaho nila. Concentration lang. Oh, uh, okay. At least para alam natin na sino ang agaw okay. doon para hindi yung nagbubuhol-buhol so, yung kung baga, kung may pagkakataong umiscore yung 3 and 4, pwede sila. Oh, Pero oh, ang shoot, concentration shoot, ng trabaho shoot. nila, depensa. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it, I get it. Uh, Coach, nabanggit mo yung mallet at yung bola kanina. Oh, sige, sige. Expound tayo dito sa equipment. Okay. 
So, dati kasi yung balls na ginagamit sa polo, yung mga wooden balls. Mm -hmm. ang, problem, ang kaganda sa wooden balls, naririnig mo siya paparating. Ah, yeah. So, pagka pinalo siya, may, may nag-whistle siya pagka maririnig mo. So, ang problema lang sa wooden balls, parang kahoy, madaling masira. Brittle, madaling masira. Pagka pinalo mo, posibleng mahati agad sa gitna. So, pinalitan nila ng, ng committee ng polo, ng hard plastic balls. Yun nga lang, medyo, hindi mo siya naririnig at medyo matulin din ang takbo nito. Mm -hmm. Ang average daw na tinatakbo ng ball is 100 miles per hour. Yun yung wow, sa wow. So talaga medyo masakit pagka tinamaan ka. Mm -hmm. Ang polo rin nga pala considered <laughs> the second most dangerous sport dahil hindi oh, yeah. lang sa kabayo, pwede ka ma-injure pati rin sa ball. So ito naman tayo sa mallet. So yung mallet, nagbabaris siya from In their measurements kasi, minimeasure siya in inches. So from 48 to 54 palagi ang, in ang, ang, ang length ng mallet. So itong mallet na to is itong 53. Nag-weigh siya to 182, 220 grams. So ito is 190. So may three parts ang mallet. Meron tayong head, may cane, yung stick, or yung shaft, and the handle. Mm -hmm. So nag di di nagbabari ito, depende siyempre sa, sa preference ng player. Wow. So yung head, ang difference nito, meron mga maninipes, meron mga kapal. Ano pagkakaiba nun? Parang golf. Ano yung mga, yung mga love shots tayo tinatawag, hindi ba? Ang gumagamit sila ng mga maliliit na ulo. Okay. Kasi pagka maliit ang ulo nun, pagka, mas madaling, mas, pagka yung area nito, mas madaling tamaan yung ilalim. Uh -huh. Ano nangyari? Napapalipad mo yung bola. Uh -huh sa air. Pag long. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Meron namang matataba at saka mabibigat. Yun yung usually ginagamit ng trade for. Yun yung pampasa. Yun yung pagka pinalo mo, distant shot. 60 to 150 okay. yards. Yung okay. tunala yun. Depende kung gano'ng kagaling yung player. So, next naman, itong cane or yung stick. Nag Nagbabire siya sa whippiness niya. So, nakita niyo to. Yung whippy na ito, yung pagiging whippy niya. Tapos yung pangatlong part naman, yung handle. May mga handle naman maninipes, may mga handle naman kapal, depende sa preference. Pero ako, para pag may mas feel, mas prefer ko yung mas maliit. Kaya na pag mahilig ka mag-dribble kasi ng ball, gusto mas maganda yung manipis eh. Ito naman, sling lang ito. Ito yung parang pinaka-pinaglalagyan niya. So, ikot ko siyang ganyan. Ganyan na yung pinaka-panghawak mo. Okay. Okay?